Among the many pages of Leonardo da Vinci's extraordinary codex, Atlanticus lies a drawing that has recently attracted renewed attention from researchers and theorists. The sketch, while initially overlooked in the broader scope of his work, depicts a structure strikingly similar to the Great Pyramid of Giza, with seven lines extending downward from its base. At the very bottom, a circle appears nestled beneath these lines, leading some to speculate that da Vinci may have been illustrating a subterranean system, possibly an aquifer or a hidden chamber. As modern investigations uncover new anomalies beneath the Giza Plateau, many have begun to wonder if Leonardo da Vinci, long celebrated for being ahead of his time, had insight into ancient architectural knowledge lost to history. The drawing in question bears a remarkable resemblance to the latest findings from researchers who, using ground-penetrating radar and satellite imaging, have reported what they believe to be massive underground structures beneath the pyramids. These discoveries, including interconnected chambers, L-shaped entrances, and sub-columns beneath the surface, suggest that the pyramids are far more than just surface-level monuments. In particular, the theory of eight subterranean columns or shafts, supporting an intricate subterranean complex, matches eerily with Leonardo's seven descending lines, prompting questions about whether his eighth was simply omitted, hidden in another page, or abstractly represented by the circle below. Leonardo's interest in ancient civilizations is no secret. His notebooks are filled with not just anatomical and mechanical studies, but also geometric shapes, spirals, ratios and structures that suggest a deep fascination with how the ancients understood the universe. In particular, he was drawn to the concept of sacred geometry, a belief that certain mathematical ratios, such as the golden ratio, held divine and universal significance. These same ratios are found embedded within the architecture of the Great Pyramid, which aligns almost perfectly with cardinal points and exhibits mathematical relationships that continue to intrigue engineers and historians alike. Some researchers have proposed that Leonardo's pyramid sketch may not be purely imaginative. Instead, it could reflect inspiration from ancient writings that had circulated through Europe during the Renaissance, particularly those of Herodotus, the Greek historian who chronicled Egyptian lore. Herodotus described mysterious underground chambers beneath the pyramids and spoke of vast caverns, sealed tombs, and even a subterranean labyrinth. If Leonardo had read such accounts, and there is evidence that he had access to a wide range of classical texts, then his sketch might have been an artistic interpretation of those ancient descriptions. Further fueling this theory is the presence of the circle beneath the pyramid's base. Many believe this could signify an aquifer, a natural underground water reservoir. In recent years, geological studies have confirmed that there is indeed water beneath the Giza Plateau. Some researchers believe that the ancients may have built the pyramids directly over such energy-rich locations for spiritual or functional reasons. Leonardo, a keen observer of nature and a student of hydraulics, would have understood the significance of such a placement. His sketches of water movement, including swirling vortices and pressure-driven systems, are considered advanced even by today's engineering standards. What makes this connection even more fascinating is that Leonardo's scientific knowledge was not purely theoretical. He meticulously studied real-world phenomena, from human anatomy to optics to the flow of rivers and pressure in pipes. He was deeply aware of how the physical world worked, yet his mind constantly pushed beyond the boundaries of known science. The fact that his pyramid drawing anticipates modern claims about underground megastructures by centuries only enhances the mystery surrounding it. Historians widely acknowledge Leonardo as a genius whose understanding transcended the time in which he lived. Without access to modern machinery or data-gathering tools, he nonetheless devised concepts for helicopters, submarines, and even mechanized knights. If his pyramid sketch is indeed a coded diagram of what lies beneath Giza, it raises profound questions. How could Leonardo have known? Was he speculating? Or did he have access to knowledge that has since been buried or forgotten? During the Renaissance, ancient manuscripts were being rediscovered and translated, and it's possible that some contained obscure or lost descriptions of Egyptian structures. There are even more speculative theories, suggesting that secret societies or esoteric schools of thought may have passed down ancient wisdom through symbols, texts, or oral traditions. If Leonardo tapped into such a stream of knowledge, he may have translated that understanding into his own visual language. Still, 
Not all interpretations lean toward mystery. Some scholars caution that Leonardo often used metaphor and abstraction in his sketches. The descending lines could simply represent structural supports or concepts unrelated to Giza. Yet, the mounting circumstantial parallels between the layout in his drawing and new scanning results beneath the pyramids make such a dismissal difficult for many to accept. Regardless of the explanation, Leonardo's pyramid drawing now occupies a curious place in historical discourse. It's a point where Renaissance genius meets an ancient mystery and modern discovery. As technology continues to reveal what lies beneath the sands of Egypt, this single page from the Codex Atlanticus invites further study, not only of its content, but of the mind that created it. Ultimately, what Leonardo da Vinci left behind was not just a collection of sketches and inventions, but a legacy of curiosity and boundary-pushing exploration. His pyramid drawing, whether inspired by ancient texts or intuitive brilliance, reflects the very essence of his genius, an insatiable desire to understand the deepest mysteries of the world, even those hidden underground for thousands of years. This revelation, led by Corrado Malanga, Armando May, Filippo Biondi and Nicole Ciccolo, has captured international attention due to its potential implications for understanding the ancient history of Egypt. The research, which involved synthetic aperture radar scanning, offers a significant breakthrough in archaeological exploration by providing high-resolution images of subterranean formations that had previously remained hidden from view. The team first announced their findings in early 2025, releasing a series of reports and press statements detailing their investigation. On March 15, 2025, they officially disclosed key findings about extensive underground structures detected beneath the Khafra Pyramid. This announcement followed an earlier press release in February, where Ciccolo, serving as head of communications, described the discovery of what she referred to as a vast underground city beneath the pyramids. The researchers have since continued their work, refining their analysis and preparing for further presentations to both the scientific community and the public. The study relied on data obtained from Capella space satellites, which allowed the team to conduct detailed synthetic aperture radar analysis of the Khafra pyramid and its surrounding area. The use of SR technology is particularly notable, as it enables researchers to create three-dimensional reconstructions of underground features by capturing radar reflections at multiple angles. This approach builds upon earlier work conducted by Biondi, who has pioneered the application of SAR technology to pyramid structures, including his 2022 study on the use of Doppler tomography to detect hidden internal features within the Great Pyramid of Giza. According to the team's latest findings, the underground structures beneath the Khafra Pyramid are far more extensive than previously imagined. The analysis revealed five identical structures near the pyramid's base, each connected by geometric pathways and containing five horizontal levels with sloping roofs. Additionally, the radar scans identified eight cylindrical structures that resemble vertical wells, each surrounded by descending spiral pathways. The most astonishing discovery, however, was the detection of two massive cubic structures measuring approximately 80 meters per side, buried at a depth of 648 meters. These two large formations appear to be interconnected with the cylindrical wells and extend beneath all three pyramids of the Giza complex, suggesting a far-reaching subterranean network. The discovery raises profound questions about the purpose and origins of these underground formations. The precise geometric layout of the structures challenges conventional explanations that they may be natural formations. Some researchers speculate that these formations could be remnants of an advanced engineering project undertaken by the builders of the pyramids. Others propose that they might be evidence of an ancient civilization predating the commonly accepted timeline of Egyptian history. Regardless of their origins, the scale and complexity of these structures suggest that they played a significant role in the development of the Giza Plateau. The methodology employed by the team has been carefully detailed in their reports. By processing SR data from multiple angles, they were able to construct detailed 3D models of the underground formations. The use of Doppler tomography, a technique developed and patented by Biondi, allowed for the detection of millimetric vibrations within the structures, further confirming their existence. The team also converted radar information into phonic signals to analyze vibrational data, providing additional insight into the density and composition of the subterranean formations. 
The implications of this discovery extend beyond the field of archaeology. The presence of large underground structures beneath the pyramids challenges existing theories about the construction and purpose of these monuments. Some researchers have speculated that these formations could represent an advanced subterranean infrastructure designed to support or enhance the pyramids in ways not yet understood. Others suggest that the structures could be linked to lost knowledge about the engineering capabilities of ancient civilizations. The public response to the discovery has been one of fascination and speculation. The idea that a vast underground network may exist beneath the pyramids has long been a subject of myth and legend, but modern technology is now providing tangible evidence that such structures may indeed be real. As the team continues to analyze their findings, they have scheduled both press conferences and scientific presentations to share further details. These upcoming events are expected to provide greater clarity on the nature of the subterranean formations and their possible significance. While much remains unknown about the structures beneath the Khafra pyramid, the use of advanced satellite technology has opened new doors for archaeological exploration. As researchers continue to refine their techniques, further discoveries are likely to follow, potentially reshaping the understanding of ancient Egypt and the architectural achievements of past civilizations. The work of Malanga, May, Biondi and Chicolo stands as a testament to the power of modern technology in uncovering secrets buried deep beneath the surface of the earth. According to Professor Biondi, the Khafra Pyramid Project has been using SAR Doppler radar to explore the plateau at frequencies capable of penetrating deep below the sand and stone. These advanced scans allowed the team to construct a virtual map of the region that exposes potential voids and symmetrical architecture beneath the site. At a recent international conference held in Malta, Biondi laid out the full technical breakdown of their findings, explaining how the data was collected, processed and verified through overlapping methodologies. What makes this discovery even more compelling is the fact that it aligns with ancient records and legends, particularly those passed down by the Greek historian Herodotus. He once wrote of a vast Egyptian labyrinth that was grander than even the pyramids themselves. Described as being deep underground, this structure was believed to have countless chambers and halls. For centuries, this story was treated as a myth or exaggeration, but the new scans give fresh credibility to these ancient accounts. If the subterranean formations detected by the Khafra Pyramid Project are indeed artificial and constructed by human hands, it may suggest that such a labyrinth was not merely a legend. Jay Anderson's decision to release these images to the public has already sparked a flurry of discussions across academic, scientific and alternative research circles. Some have called this the most significant archaeological revelation of the century. Others believe it will challenge the conventional narrative of Egyptian history, particularly the theory that the pyramids and related structures were built using primitive tools and techniques. The extraordinary precision found in artifacts such as those in the Serapeum has long raised questions, and these recent findings may serve as the conclusive link in a chain of mounting evidence that points toward a far more advanced ancient civilization. Many experts have emphasized that while the data is still being analyzed and further verification is needed, the consistency and scale of the underground features are difficult to ignore.